I'll just give you But this, this is an example of, of artist the Robert tool. Patrick is Please. with us on uh, Let Them Talk, and we're just looking at some fascinating uh, um, artistic Show creations using letters. Now here Angel. you find the actual uh, album the, cover. Oh, album okay. cover. Here we are, Paul. Oh, you have the album cover. This, All is, right, this is a drawing. See, I used to, oh, it's Angel, I used to see that. Of course, everyone's seen Oh, I've that. seen this album. Here, let me yeah, um, hand you this, yeah. and then I'll put the album cover up. And see, that's where this that you just showed is being used in the... Why? Okay. Here's the nonsense piece of it. Isn't that great? So now, what got you started with this? Did you go to art school and study graphic design, or...? Um... Yes, I, 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 I actually, um, I've always been uh, pretty much self-taught, although I had a little, like I'm also a painter, and uh, it's always been a uh, struggle between the two, uh, although I found that... And here's the original, like the, the original idea for the angel. Right, that's the uh, actual logo. Am I right? Am I have it upside down? Yeah, that, it, 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 it's a reversible logo. It goes logo either thing. way. It goes either way. In this case, like I uh, was trying to uh, incorporate. Um, That's pretty amazing. Decorative That's elements to make the readability more, because readability is very important. So, like, it's actually a hard word to read, but uh, with some help, uh, you know, from this, the form, and uh, it helps to try this one. Mm. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, so you're self-taught, and you you're also a painter because I've seen your paintings yes. as well. Which and you I'm, can I'm see torn between the two, but yet I, I find a strange <coughs> connection with the both. And, uh, <coughs> although me. I've never really been able to actually uh, combine them both together satisfactorily to my own mm -hmm. liking. So you have sort of two parallel careers. Yeah, so like, like with the life art thing, that was somewhat close because I did do kind of like the uh, art. Uh, you know, I tried to do a painting and then put the word over the word art over top. But, you know. mm -hmm. um, Why did you start doing this? The letters. I mean, did you start this type as of I thing? As I said, uh, oh, the, um, not when so much as have you know, because I'm thinking, I'm just remembering the artistic kids in school who would spend all that time, yeah. like, you know, at their desks drawing these really uh, intricate things, and uh, you've taken it to the high level, you've perfected that. Yes, um, although uh, I try to, my biggest weakness is I try to, as you can see, like I have uh, like a flood of too many things, and a lot of they go from being very unfinished to very finished and uh, but you know I was hoping that doing the painting I would uh, be able to uh, take it into another area like uh, a friend of mine who also uh, has a, actually has a book out on this work uh, he, he coined uh, the idea of, of, of words in action and uh, like like turning words into sculpture or mm -hmm. uh, or like an installation, like with the um, with the magic dream piece, where which is in in my slideshow, uh, I did with like contact paper, and I uh, I looked, I, I worked with a computer to get to the point where the uh, circles were um, big enough that it wouldn't take forever to do, but yet still be readable, and mm -hmm. and, and, and and to me it has a kind of a c computer effect, uh, mm -hmm. which. I'll put this slideshow back on oh, yeah, so people sorry can about that. see yeah, behind well, here's us. Here's a slideshow. Sure, thanks for reminding me. It's right behind us. There's ego. And Turn also on its side. Wait, uh, let me duck you a little bit to the side, Robert. And there it is. Uh, all right. Yeah, you can stand up and walk over by Joni. I'm oh, sorry. Be careful. Well, also, um, we, we got it. I want to tell people too about Robert's website because. And there's ego. You can see this slideshow yeah, on the we website. Right. You can see other material, including his painting. So yes. that's at robertpetrick.com. Right. P e t r i c k. Robertpetrick.com. Yeah, okay. Right. So we're giving folks a chance to uh, to, to see, see more work. Yeah. Well, we're uh, happening behind us here, and you can see some of these videos, which are at Robert's website. Yeah. Some of these images. And, uh, I should uh, like talk about. Uh, can they, can people still hear me? Yeah. Oh, here we are. Sorry, let me hook you back up here. Back down, yeah. yeah, we'll sit you back down. You're listening to Let Them Talk, and our guest is Robert Patrick. Hi, Robert. Yeah, Robert, have a seat. Have a seat. No, I must uh, his art. like I must give credit to uh, a friend of mine, uh, John Langdon, who is a big. Uh, he he also did a book, and he's actually rather famous uh, in this world of uh, ambigrams, and uh, and uh, he. Uh, 
Actually, that, this is his piece, and it was one of the first pieces that was, came out about the same time uh, that uh, uh, Angel came out. Uh, we were working together uh, in Philadelphia at that time. Now, you also have pieces on... And this is a mirror image. Uh, uh -huh. It doesn't turn upside down. Oh, but, I see. Uh, and, and as far oh, as sure. I'm concerned, he's, he was the first person to do a mirror image piece. And, uh, That's great. Wow, that's amazing. Now, you also have some things on YouTube that people can right, watch. Right, uh, if you could, I don't know, you could, you could do the YouTube. Uh, there, there is a good uh, slideshow also on YouTube. Uh, mm -hmm. And how do people find that, that, if they can just put your name in the search? Yes, and, and the, 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 the best pe uh, slideshow is it's called uh, Weaver. Uh, actually, this is, the, uh, this is an interesting piece, although it's printed lousy, but... Uh, it says Weaver oh, this wow. way, and, and then it says Dreams. Oh, wow. that's amazing. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, Weaver. I don't know what kind of effect you're going to have with those lines. Well, we have, oh, the effect really we have great. is because it's blue, you can see the background on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's sort of neat. It's psychedelic, to say and the least. turn it over. And then you zoom, Dream. That's Let me really try great. that again. All right. Dreams. Now, Dream Weavers. Dream Weavers. Let's try that again for folks who might not have gotten it the first time. Dream. <laughs> Weaver. That's great. That's amazing. Dream. Well, it's just Weaver. A piece, it's a nice, cool. a nice. I love that. Form. Look, All oh, right, that's a great more. effect. We have more as yeah. well. Yes, this Robert is a, this is an interesting uh, oh, piece. Oh, uh, out there. Yes, but this this is a strange one because I I use a, a lower a lowercase no a capital K there for jerker when you turn it upside down. Yeah, turn it. It still says, but it's a lowercase K and it still says for uh, jerker. But that's amazing. Uh, Let's try that again. All right. Joker. <laughs> oh my word. The K is uppercase. Yeah. Same word. K is That's lowercase. That's like an example of like going out a, a kind of extremely because um, you know I, if I couldn't draw that well, it wouldn't work. You know, it would Watch be ugly. Watch the K. Watch it again. And also, don't forget on Saturdays at Tompkins Square Park Gallery. It's in the library, the Tompkins right. Square Park, Tenth Street. Just off oh, this Avenue is great. B. Yeah, the, this is also a mirror image? No, that's an upside down piece, oh, actually. Yeah, so um, down. And in a way, uh, <laughs> I know, this, is a, <laughs> this is a large painting I did for my show, which uh, uh -huh. I was trying to experiment. Let's try it. It, it, it reminds me of the, uh, the, the love piece, for some reason, uh, that is, I don't know if you've seen in that. In Philadelphia. Um, yeah, right. And I was trying to somehow do a something similar but because I could see this in a big sculpture yeah it would you know work, right? um, yeah it would definitely work now tell us a little bit about your other paintings just so we don't uh, my other paintings my other paintings are uh, you do some nature very much yes I love nature because actually uh, you know that's where where the letter comes in again because it's uh, nature actually forged the letters. I mean, that's what 